Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Just stay there while I clean your tubs. No, oh, you just whip that at you. Yeah, don't bite your buddy there. <laughs> so scaling snakes are very difficult to pick up by a hook. You almost have to grab them with a pair of forceps. Or yeah, that's a lot of it. Like that. Yeah. Or on a pair of glasses, whatever the case may be. <laughs> yeah. Just stay away from your cage. He bites, I tell you, so stay away from him. You're the Lone Ranger, huh? It's a male that isn't really feeding so well. Nope. In there, stink bug. That's why I threw you in there to begin with. Hi. Now for those that are asking, why does this snake do this funny thing? Well, uh, first of all, these are desert snakes. Water is very, very sparse and a very rare commodity where they're from. Matter of fact, they get most of it from their prey. Um, well, in order to conserve uh, water and not hiss, See, when they hiss, they're expelling water vapor from their lungs along with the air. So they're effectively dehydrating themselves. This warning method, uh, you know, makes a perfectly good uh, warning noise. Not quite like a rattlesnake or, or something like that, but it certainly lets uh, something know that, hey, I'm over here, dummy, don't step on me. Or, you come closer, I'm going to bite you. Right? You bet. You bet. I know I keep flipping you on your back. There you go. <clears throat> Hello, you stinky boys. These guys have been eating pretty well geckos, but uh, they will take a pink. I haven't really been trying very hard getting them to eat pinks, but come on, no speed stuff. Oh, you're going to be a problem, huh? You stay right there. <laughs> That's like like telling teenagers uh, left alone went together not to have sex. <laughs> it's just not possible to, uh, to prevent that sort of stuff. See, I can make a, a sauce scaling noise when I pour this stuff, huh? Now, oh, you're clever, huh? Look at you. I'm going to drive you off the face of the earth. Whoa, oh, quick, good breaks there, bud. <laughs> Hi, I know. I'm going to grab you by your tail. How's that? How's that for a trick? You didn't expect that. Oh, he's going to try the hook thing and I'm going to make him look stupid. Well, if he would have turned around and bit my finger, I would have looked even worse. <laughs> right? Hi. How you doing? How you doing? I know. 
None of my animals like when housekeeping comes and visits. It's always a problem. Hi, Mom. What are you doing? This is Mom. This is sibling of Mom, or, or baby of Mom, who's really pissed off because I packed them full of uh, Pedialyte and uh, uh, Gerber's chicken uh, dinner baby food. Huh? Did you like that last night? You're all nice and plump, though, today. Oh, look at her, though. Yeah, we're doing a saw scale stuff today, huh? Huh, Mom? Whoops. Mom isn't a terribly good feeder. Stay there. Go nowhere. Come here there, weenie. <laughs> Come here. You should call him low mane. He's like a friggin' low mane noodle. Come on, I'm not trying to hurt ya. I'm just trying to get you out of here without uh, uh, much bother. Hey mom, where are you going? Here, hand me the camera and go get the other bag that's in the closet, please. Unless you want to stay here and watch them scoot all over the building. <laughs> stay here with your baby. Come on. Usually what I do is if I'm by myself and I don't have uh, uh, the luxury of Mrs. Viper Keeper uh, helping me out, I just throw something over top of them to cover them and they're just uh, uh, perfectly happy to, uh, to remain there. I have this uncanny ability to pick the bags with holes in them already. This one has a piece of tape plugging the holes that I found once I got it home. This never fails. Grr. Right handed scissors left handed. Now everybody's going to poop in unison tonight. Of course. Oops, i got to put the snakes back, don't I? <laughs> One small detail. Hi, what are you doing? Here, I'll, uh, I'll not really disturb you too badly. Come on. There you go. There you go. No hooks required. Oh, you're getting to be chubby. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, now we uh, we move on to very serious uh, snakes. Uh, Necus pyramidum. Hi, girly. How you doing? Hi. Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Hmm? No. Okay. And this same thing sort of applies with these guys, except you don't see me tailing them or anything like that because uh, there's a significant uh, uh, consequences for getting bit by one of these. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, leave it in there and not be playing games with it. Abyssinia vipers will... Uh, make your evening unpleasant and maybe the next couple of days. Oh, <laughs> um, saw scales will kill you or make uh, uh, the next uh, week or 10 days very, very unpleasant. So we don't, uh, we don't toy with those. Uh, 
Those are serious vipers. Now, of course. Oh, it's me. Or are you just going to huh? dump them in from there? Well, they generally hook reasonably well. Hello. If they don't, uh, I'll just dump them in. I said reasonably well. Come here. Come here. Why are you being difficult? See? Go back in there. Go on. Go on. Mm -hmm. Whenever you say that they, they do something reasonably well, I guarantee you on camera they will uh, do the exact opposite. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, guys? You definitely have a stinky cage. Okay. Now this could be interesting because there's two of them. There's the, nice ones. there's the male. And there's the female. Now this is a breeding pair. They they bred last year. Come on. Stay on the towel. Don't make me use water on you. Hey. Uh, they produced eggs, but I was away and they dried up. Watch it, she's going to take off like a little rocket towards you, I think. <clears throat> Come on. I'm free, finally I'm free. Hey, chill. Chill. Hey, none of these, it thinks it's a, it's a Philippine cobra. Come on. Come on, bud. I'm not picking a fight. Here, yeah, I'm going to put you in with the girl. How's that? You'll have really have your work cut out for you. Because she's upset right now. There you go. Yeah. Saw scaling. <clears throat> I know, I know, I see you. Hi, you keep a very tidy home there, uh, young Fields Viper. One of my favorite vipers, Fields Viper. I really like desert uh, viperids and stuff. They're very, very cool. Yeah, uh, they do. Um, they do that. It's sort of like, hey, I'm gonna. It's like a Muhammad Ali move. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a fake strike at you and see if I can scare you off. but they will bite you. Now, interesting thing about uh, Fields Vipers is according to the research that's out there is Fields Vipers are as close to a carrion feeder as they get in the snake world uh, because they live in very arid, dry lands and meals don't come that often. If they find something dead on the road, uh, they're not... Uh, uh, not going to pass it by. They're going to chow it down even if it's a little bit uh, overdone. Fields Viper. Um, they're a, a problem in the Middle East. Uh, they have both neurotoxic and uh, hemolytic uh, sort of venom. It creates a consumptive coagulopathy. Very, very nice snakes. Uh, you could almost mistake them for uh, a U.S. Sidewinder, uh, except they don't have uh, pits like a, a true pit viper would have. Uh, so that's how you can tell them apart. Very happy to see this uh, fuzzy come its way.
Now come on, don't drag it through the substrate. You're not letting the size of it uh, deter you at all, are you? Look at that. Munched on like a real champ. You know, it always amazes me <laughs> till this day. As number as many snakes have I've fed. It's still very fascinating to watch them eat. Uh, the design of, of their uh, uh, jaws and such to uh, allow, you know, virtually any size uh, prey within reason uh, uh, to be consumed, you know, all with no hands. Uh, you try uh, eating a hot dog with no hands. Well, <laughs> I actually know lots of gals who do that all the time, so that's not a good, uh, a good way of putting it. Uh, you try eating a, uh, a hoagie or a, 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 a sub sandwich or something like that. Uh, that's more appropriate, I think. Right, Mrs. Viper Keeper? <laughs> oh, how, how we easily stray. You know, I'm surprised Elvis is banging at his cage, letting us know that uh, he detects uh, rodents in the room. Hi there, young lady. What the hell is your issue? Come on, here. There it is. That's what you're supposed to be looking for. Yeah. I know. There you go. Oh, no, no, don't eat. It's not finger food, so don't eat its fingers first. Yeah. One thing you'll learn here is I never give uh, rodents the wrong way. Here. I think if I do this, you'll be happier. Here. Oh, that's nice, huh? Is that okay? Yeah, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Hmm? As we can see, Miss Fields here is uh, in the process of shedding. Uh, I am not going to disturb her. I don't, uh, and Mrs. Field uh, very seldom has any sort of an issue uh, shedding because uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, she's from a dry climate, so we're just going to let her go. <laughs> Meanwhile, back here at Mrs. Field's zone, Mrs. Fields is very sick. I'm not sure if I can save her at this point. Uh, um, I just can't can't get rid of that respiratory infection. And that was a very bile green colored uh, uh, poop that she had there. And I'm thinking that uh, because it was bile green, either she has pancreatitis or some liver ailments. Uh, uh, because of the large doses of antibiotic for a long time that I've been giving her so uh, I just might uh, I might stop that and just let nature take its course uh, no use uh, you know making her miserable and stuff uh, uh, that's the way that tune is written <laughs> <laughs>